back to our leader, Marvin Muscan, the Frenchman. Tomac is closing, but not massively, although a big mistake for Marvin with both feet off the pegs and through those ruts. Yeah, well, he might not be closing massively, but look at the gap. It's almost non-existent with seven minutes and two laps to go. Yeah, he is closing massively now. That mistake in the uphill definitely hurt. And suddenly, Tomac is there. Well, that did not take long. It was just had to get that clear running room and get around Grant. And now we've got a battle on our hands, and you can hear the big crowd here at Sacramento. Prairie City Off-Highway Vehicle Park and Hangtown Motocross. We're going to see a battle down the stretch. Oh, yeah. It's brewing right now. Fans are on their feet. You can hear the place getting excited. And we've said it before, Tomax had some pretty incredible rides out here, so I think he's built himself quite the fan base. A lot of people want to see him do well, as well as other riders. But I think in this place, particularly for a Colorado native, he gets a lot of love here at NorCal. All right, Muskan's got to try to figure out how to play some defense here. He's got Tomac all over him. Tomac down uh -oh. the inside. This could be it. Tomac's got the line, but Muskan's on the inside of this next corner. He'll try to stand him up, and he does. So Muskan holds him off. Outside line for Tomac coming here. Can he rail it around? Oh, here we go. They're going to come into this dip side by side. Muskin's on the outside. Tomac has a line. Oh, no! and Muskin leaves the brakes. Wow. Good job. And look at this. Tomac comes right back. What a charge. And Muskin holds him off again. Oh, that could have gotten really nasty. And the crowd are on their feet. Uh, just like we are at the moment. What's going to happen? They're going to cross over lines. Watch. Tomac will try to square it up. Give him a better angle coming to this turn. Oh, but that little bounce didn't get close enough, and Muskan wisely gets as far to the left as he can. So great job by Marvin to fight him. As soon as Tomac had that inside about five corners ago, I thought it was over. Five minutes and two laps to go. You gotta fight for it if you're Marvin Muskan. The overall win and the moto win, it's all on the line. And a little bit of breathing room, and Tomac has to hit the reset button to try to come back after him. This situation is a little bit different than maybe being fifth and sixth, like 10 minutes in the race, and then maybe a faster game. Tomac's got that same line again. And Can Muskan stay on the inside like he did the last time? Now Tomac's going to square it. Oh. All over the contact. Muskan's going to have to hustle around the outside to hold him off. There was a bump and run. Muskan's got the line again, and Tomac, I don't think, has the deal done. Uh, that he got a little aggressive there, now he oh, tries it again. He brought him all out the wall! Muskan comes back! He hit the crowd molding, then yeah. Muskan right along the edge of the top of that half pipe. Now, Tomek goes to the outside. I guarantee you, no motorcycle has been up on that part of the half pipe ever before. Well, no. Muskan was almost into the fence. Not all weekend long. No. I've not seen one person ever heard that. Look at that. This is what we love to see. Late in the race, both riders want this bad. It's for the overall. Bragging rights, maybe they you know, would be tight in points when they leave, but technically Marvin would have the number one or the red background. Look at this. Outside Tomac. line. Oh. Unbelievable. Now Marvin, is he going to just try to use the inside or go outside to block? Oh, it's Tomax trying to square it. Everywhere Muscan goes, Tomax in a different spot, even if it's not the good line. Marvin Muscan holds on. In two minutes and two laps to go here at Hangtown, so it's probably going to be three and a half laps before the checkered flag comes out. Now we know Tomac has a great line in his back section of the track. Is Muskan gonna change the line that he's running to prevent Tomac from using it? Oh, they're laying it over deep into these corners, throwing it sideways. Outside oh. line for Tomac here. Can he run it? Muskan's gonna around. grease the inside. Oh, yes, Tomac did it. Woo, did he have to get on the gas hard oh. to make that one work? Their lines almost came together. Muskin had to roll out the very last second. Now, there was, was probably going to be contact would have taken yeah. both of them out. But Tomac, just the resilience, and just kept going after Muskin over and over. And hats off to Muskin. Uh -huh. Made a great race out of this. Just kept fighting, kept fighting. Got to feel like these are the two Warriors are going to keep going race after race. So Tomac now trying to stretch it out just a little bit. One minute to go. 